Hello and welcome to Daylight Substantial. And in this class, we'll be looking at clipping data. So we have a scenario whereby we have a locality data up here of the entire Taraba state. And then we have a local government we want to clip this data to just be within. So this is the locality data. If you try to check on the attribute, all the names and all that things are included. But we only want this data within this uh, geographic space, that's this administrative boundary here. So how do we do that? All right, to do that, that's the essence of this video. So let's get right into it. So um, you go to analysis, analysis type up, up, up here. And then you click on the tools. So it's going to bring you on the geoprocessing tools. So what we need here, we'll search for the clip. And here there are varieties of clip which we'll be going to one by one. But then this is what we want. He said extract input feature that overlays the clip. So we're going to click on this. And then it's asking for the input. That's the data set we want to clip from. And then the clip file, which is the, what we want to clip is this uh, locality data is over here. So I've imputed it. Then what we want to use, the extent to which we want it to be is this tacum, which is this place. All right. So then the output now, we're going to come. To a location as i've also said uh, arcgis pro allows you now you can see you can select all future that is whether it is a shape file a coverage or a geodatabase so let's still put it here and then we're going to select tacum underscore localities and then we're going to save it then this time around, we're going to run it. We'll click run, and it's going to run, then to clip our data to that extent. So it has clipped. So let's remove the main locality and see. So it has been clipped to just this portion. So you can see that we are no longer seeing other part of it. So this is how to clip. But this clipping we just did, is for vector layer that is data that have already been digitized because you can see that this point has been digitized likewise the boundary so it's not as if you bring in a paper map which is raster and you expect this same process to work it's not going to work on that same process so there is a process for it which i will treat in our coming videos all right so that's it for today and i will see you in the next video where i will treat the batch clipping version of this. Don't go nowhere and I'll see you in the next one.